So I've got this tablet and I've got the, this wand. I use the trigger on the wand. When I squeeze that, it's like I'm virtually grabbing the camera. Robot pengendali gerak sudah dipakai dalam pembuatan film selama beberapa dekade, tapi punya reputasi buruk karena tidak praktis untuk digunakan menurut para ahli. So our mission has been to change that and to make it as as simple and intuitive as possible. Sisu adalah perusahaan robotika Texas yang membuat robot film. The director can say, I want the camera here, and then I want it over here. And so we've even put the controller in the hand of the director and said, pull this trigger and show me what you what you mean. And they'll just pull the trigger and just move their hand and the camera just follows the movement of their hand. Lengan robot film Sisu mirip lengan robot dalam pembuatan mobil yang memerlukan presisi. Menurut perusahaan ini, rahasianya adalah kombinasi sensor dan akselerometer yang membuat kamera lebih mudah dan lebih cepat dimanipulasi. Ini penting dalam pembuatan film laga, di mana pengambilan sebuah adegan perlu dilakukan beberapa kali. You'll see it in the, you know, in, in the action movies too, where somebody busts through a wall, so they, they break through the wall first, doing this shot, then they have somebody jump through the wall, doing that same shot, and then they put them over top of each other, and it looks like the person just just broke through the wall. Menurut pakar robotika bioskop Jeff Lenell, yang perusahaan tempat ia pernah bekerja menggunakan robot bagi film fiksi ilmiah Gravity, dengan teknologi Sisu, pembuatan film jadi lebih mudah. Person on the street that can play a video game can make that robot do something in uh, half a day or a day, which is which is great. So um, they've definitely democratized it, and these things are becoming uh, much more usable. Pembuatan film tampaknya akan menjadi jauh lebih realistis berkat adanya teknologi robot pengendali gerak yang dilengkapi dengan berbagai sensor ini. Dari Arlington, Virginia, saya Helmi Johannes dan tim VOA.